a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Vitagraph Studios Vitagraph Studios, also known as the Vitagraph Company of America, was a United States motion picture studio. It was founded by J. Stuart Blackton and Albert E. Smith in 1897 in Brooklyn, New York, as the American Vitagraph Company. By 1907 it was the most prolific American film production company, producing many famous silent films. It was bought by Warner Brothers in 1925. History In 1896, English emigre Blackton was moonlighting as a reporter-slash-artist for the New York Evening World when he was sent to interview Thomas Edison about his new film projector. The inventor talked the entrepreneurial reporter into buying a set of films and a projector. A year later, Blackton and business partner Smith founded the American Vitagraph Company in direct competition with Edison, a third partner, distributor William Pop Rock, joined in 1899. The company's first studio was located on the rooftop of a building on Nassau Street in Manhattan. Operations were later moved to the Midwood neighborhood of Brooklyn, New York. The company's first claim to fame came from newsreels. Vitagraph cameramen were on the scene to film events from the Spanish-American War of 1898. These shorts were among the first works of motion picture propaganda, and a few had that most characteristic fault of propaganda, studio reenactments being passed off as footage of actual events. In 1897 Vitagraph produced the Humpty Dumpty Circus which was the first film to use the stop-motion technique. Vitagraph was not the only company seeking to make money from Edison's motion picture inventions, and Edison's lawyers were very busy in the 1890s and 1900s filing patents and suing competitors for patent infringement. Blackton did his best to avoid lawsuits by buying a special license from Edison in 1907 and by agreeing to sell many of his most popular films to Edison for distribution. The American Vitagraph Company made many contributions to the history of movie making. In 1903 the director Joseph Delmont started his career by producing westerns. He later became famous by using wild carnivores in his movies, a sensation for that time. Stars. In 1909 it was one of the original ten production companies included in Edison's attempt to corner movie-making, the Motion Picture Patents Company. Major stars included Florence Turner, Morris Costello, Harry T. Moray, Jean and such future stars as Helen Hayes, Viola Dana, Dolores Costello, Norma Talmadge, Constance Talmadge, and Mo Howard. Larry Trimble was a noted director of films for Turner and Jean. The first, Les Miserables film adaptation. A short silent historical drama starring Maurice Costello as Jean Valjean and William V. Rannis as Javert, is distributed by the Vitagraph Company of America. The film consists of four reels, each released over the course of three months beginning on 4 September to 27 November 1909. John Bunny made films for Vitagraph in the 1910s most of them co-starring a Flora Finch and was the most popular film comedian in the world in the years before Chaplin. His death in 1915 was observed worldwide. In 1910 a number of movie houses showed the five parts of the Vitagraph serial The Life of Moses consecutively, making it one of many to claim the title of the first feature film. A long series of Shakespeare adaptations were the first done of the Bard's works in the US. In 1911, Vitagraph produced the first aviation film, The Military Air Scout, directed by William J. Humphrey, with future General of the Air Force Hap Arnold as the stunt flyer. The 1915 feature The Battle Cry of Peace was one of the great propaganda films of World War I. Ironically, after America declared war, the film was modified for re-release, because it was seen as not being sufficiently pro-war. Thus it also earns a place in the history of censorship. World War I spelled the beginning of the end for Vitagraph, with the loss of foreign distributors and the rise of the monopolistic studio system. Vitagraph was slowly, but surely squeezed out of the business. On January 28, 1925, it left the motion picture producers and distributors of America. The owner, Albert E. Smith, explained. Acquisition by Warner Brothers On April 22, 1925, 
Smith finally gave up and sold the company to Warner Brothers for a comfortable profit. The Flatbush studio was later used as an independent unit within Warner Brothers specializing in early sound shorts. Among those performers who made early film appearances in Vitaphone shorts filmed at the Flatbush studios include Al Jolson, Humphrey Bogart, Jimmy Stewart, Bob Hope, Spencer Tracy, Jack Benny, Sammy Davis Jr. Sylvia Sidney, Pat O'Brien, Ruth Etting, Misha Elman, Francis Langford, Betty Hutton, Burns, and Ellen, Giovanni Martinelli, Xavier Cougart, Bill Robinson, Lillian Roth, Joan Blondell, Judith Anderson, Ethel Merman, Abbe Lane, Eleanor Powell, Helen Morgan, The Nicholas Brothers, Milton Burl, Leo Carreo, Harriet Nelson, Brian Donlevy, Jane Froman, Jack Haley, Phil Silvers, Judy Canova, Nina May McKinney, Marjorie Main, Rose Marie, Joe Penner, Ethel Waters, June Allison, Shemp Howard, Lanny Ross, Lionel Stander, Edgar Bergen, and Sid Charisse among others. The Vitagraph name was briefly resurrected from 1960 to 1969, at the end of Warner Brothers Looney Tunes cartoons, with the end titles reading, a Warner Brothers cartoon, a Vitagraph release. Merry Melodies of the same period had the same end title, with the last line being, a Vitaphone release. This may have been done, to protect the studio's ownership of the two largely defunct trade names. Locations Vitagraph's first office, opened in 1898, was in Lower Manhattan, at 140 Nassau Street, on the corner of Nassau Street and Beekman Street, where they shot their first film, The Burglar on the Roof, in 1897. In 1890, the company moved to 11016 Nassau Street. They subsequently opened a glass-enclosed studio, the first modern film studio in the U.S. built in 1906, on property bounded by Locust Avenue, East 15th Street, Elm Avenue, and right-of-way of the BMT Brighton line of the New York City subway, transportation of equipment and costumes. From the Nassau Street interior stages was by subway to the adjacent Avenue M Subway Rapid Transit Station. In the Midwood section of Brooklyn, they created a second film studio in Santa Monica, California, in 1911, and a year later moved to a 29-acre sheep ranch at 4151 Prospect Avenue, in the Los Feliz district of Los Angeles, a studio subsequently owned by ABC and currently Disney Studios. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries Would you like to know more?